17 years ago, a woman in Minneapolis founded a place called Olu's Home. It's an organization providing housing and in home care for the elderly and others with developmental disabilities and mental illness. Olu's Home has 11 locations throughout the Twin Cities, and this morning we introduce you to the woman behind the cause. Her name, Gloria Freeman. Freeman was recently named Minnesota Small Business Person of the Year by the U.S. Small Business Administration. As you will see, Gloria's huge heart is infectious, and now she is embarking on a new venture. For this, we take you to Olu Center. It's what she's doing here and for children in the neighborhood of North Minneapolis that makes her a Minnesotan to meet. Counting to 100, it's just one of the many activities the kids do at Olu Center. 35, 36. Gloria Freeman, who spearheaded the renovation of this North Minneapolis facility, says Olu has a special meaning. It means so grateful to God. So when I thought of starting my business, you know, and working with people that have been dismissed in our society, I felt we're grateful for everyone. The doors opened for playtime officially last summer, and since then it's been full speed ahead for Freeman and her team at this intergenerational program. Oh yeah, it's exciting. It's a good feeling. It's really nice to be able to hear the laughter and <laughs> see the children. The children aren't just interacting with their peers, but rather getting instruction from retired professionals like former Montessori teacher Callie Reiser. Okay, you might need the pencil with this one. We visited with Miss Callie and Daryl for a spring break math assignment. First thing we do is do homework. You know, if the school do not send homework, they get here and they get homework. <laughs> Miss Callie says the multiplication tutoring doesn't just help the mind of her students, but hers as well. Most people that I know that is retired, they have all this energy. So it's nice to be able to come to a place and work with the generation. 66. Yeah, you've got it. For student on our spring break visit, Daryl. When I'm done, I will choose like connect four and I always win. Oh, you do? She's uh, never beat you once? She beat me twice. <laughs> it's inside these walls that Gloria hopes habits start and then students like Daryl take them home. Because we believe that some of the issues that we see with our children, we can start at the very beginning. For a woman who has devoted nearly two decades of her life to serving others, she says this is just the beginning. I'm hoping that, you know, we'll be able to give this opportunity to a lot more other children than the capacity of this building. How cute are the kids? Mm. Oh, I know, so cute. The center currently accepts children who qualify for assistance programs through Hennepin County. They are waiting to be approved for Parent Aware, which is a federally funded program, so they're going to wait for that. They have to be open a full year for federal aid. The SBA, along with the SCORE Association and the Small Business Development Center, will honor Gloria and other award winners at the Small Business week awards program that will be on may 4th at the double tree in st louis park you can look into that uh, the registration is open until april 29th and we'll have more information on our website congrats to her what a great yes. honor yeah very thanks. inspiring woman. thanks sally